Lucy, your latest book is a historical fiction, and I have a little copy right here. It's called The Brick Works, and it is incredible. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, it's a historical fiction, and uh, it covers the period 1879 to 1910. And it starts in Scotland with the fall of the Tay Bridge. And the Tay Bridge at the time was the longest bridge in the world, and it was considered a marvel of Victorian engineering. And when the bridge fell, um, the ramifications for that um, were felt across the world. And what I did was I, I zeroed in um, on, a, on one family in particular, um, the family of the man who was driving the train, and tried to um, look at how that huge event impacted him and his family, and then followed him on his own trajectory, his own journey. Um, his name is Brody, and uh, he's one of the two main characters in my book. Um, Brody meets up with another Scot named Alistair. They meet in Buffalo, where they're both working at a steel mill, assembling bridges, um, in, and um, they go fishing um, in Canada, and they purchase a piece of land um, that has the river running through it. And the river has a clay bed and shale. And they realize that it would make a, a really optimal brickworks. So they buy the land and they get financial backing and they establish a brickworks in this small community. And the novel traces um, their adventure, if you will, um, both in terms of learning the technology and establishing this manufacturing business in a small rural community, but also the impact of technology. I mean, there's always a cost when there's innovation. And when you're innovating new technology, people get hurt. And um, so I explore that as well. And then there's two sweet little romances um, for both of the main characters. So, um, I hope it's charming. Um, I hope it's informative. And um, it sort of um, captures my interest in brick making. And um, that's where it started.